Okay. Let's go. <clears throat> First thing I have to do is SSH in my machine. But I can't because I don't have Ethernet plugged up. But I do now. And I don't know my IP address. But I do now. I think. Not so much. Okay, 104. Okie dokie. So, we should have uh, all our packages on there. I'm changing my... Um... Duda. Okay. And let's SSH. Let's say SSH into my host machine over there. SSH. Uh, dug at 192.168.2.104. Okay, uh, sometimes those keys get a little tangled up, so you can say something like echo, something on a brace of like a pound sign, into, let's say, dot SSH, actually dot SSH, known hosts, I'm going to clear out your host keys, now I'm going to run it. Oh, oh, let's see. I think I know what the problem is here. I need to restart. Uh, SSH like service, service, SSH restart, maybe. Etsy and dot D SSH nope restart maybe I'm trying to bring up my server on my other computer uh, and it's that Yes. Okay. How about if we say user S bin SSHD restart? Host key problem. Let's do pseudo suit. What I did was I started it with um, uh, YLNO and then I switched to Ethernet, so maybe that was the problem. That's, um, I don't think I can do it from here because I have root. Uh, 160 dark 2.14 I think it is. Yeah, we're screwed up. Let's say echo nothing into um, dot SSH. SSH no hosts. Now let's try. Okay. Maybe. Okay, that worked. Sorry about that delay. Hey. Each happens. So let's remove SH here. Dot run version checker again. If you remember the last one, we um, 
Made sure that we were okay. Let's double check. Bin bad stash. Okay, everything else looks fine. Okay. Good deal. Um, yes. I screwed up again, folks. Screen. SSH. Um, Doug at one two dot one six eight dot two dot one oh four I think. Should have did screen first. And that's what I did not do. Okay. Derby. Move this around. Okay, here we go. So, uh, local machine here at the top, and I'm going to see in the desktop. I'm going to say links, LFS book. Okay, we got the book going, and our remote machine is in the bottom. Here's our host. Okay, so, um, from here we begin. Now, um, targets and architectures, that's up to you guys. You guys can read all this information. It's very good stuff to read. It's better explained in the book. And I'm just going to give you the gist of everything. First things first, um, I'm going to go right into creating a new partition. Now we need to create a new partition for our LFS machine here. And what I'm going to do is make E2FS journal verbose dev SDA. Remember where you want to put your LFS partition. Mine's going to be SDA9. Okay, now I already F'd this out and the uh, partition's cut, but it's not formatted. I'm just going to format that, but I'm going to format this. be pseudo say make e2 fs journal repose dev sda 9 i'm going to format this as a sd uh ext3 partition okay the book says ext4 um at a personal preference i'm just going to choose ext3 okay make swap um you can use swap if you want to I'm not going to put swap on my LFS machine. Uh, there is swap on my Ubuntu machine. There's no need to make swap again. Okay. Export LFS. Um, we need to make a variable here, a mount point, and which is going to be located at um, mount LFS. And we can check that if we say echo dollar sign LFS. We can see that that variable right there. Um, it's true. Now we need to make that mount point. So let's say make directory parent for boost dollar sign LFS. Okay. And let's mount our new formatted partition that we just made to that mount point. Dollar sign LFS. Okay, good deal. Other mounting partitioning schemes, if you want them, they're not necessary. Um, packages and patches. Now we already got all our packages and patches. I'm not going to go over that. We've already done that part. We can just skip right down to creating LFS tools directory. Make directory for boost dollar sign LFS forward slash tools. Okay. And I can stretch this. That's a little better, I guess. We need to make a link from that. Link symbolic for boost dollar sign LFS tools. We need to make a link uh, back up to root. Okay, now we had to add a temporary user, so we'll say group add LFS, which is our temporary group. Um, user add with bin bash capabilities groups LFS. Make k dev null folder um, in a home directory, and our user will be LFS. Don't put a lot of effort into it. Um, it's just a temporary user. 
It's not going to stay around forever, so just follow the book and we should be okay. It's password that user or LFS user. And even if you have to create or double up your password that you use, um, get above eight characters. No open passwords. A lot of programs like open passwords, and you may run into problems. LFS tools you need to change or chone um, the uh, change the ownership of tools directory to dollar sign. To our LFS user, and so seeing the sources, you can make a sources directory. <laughs> this dollar sign LFS sure didn't. Um, let me skip back up. Now to make a partition. So I get an empty introduction. What we should have done way up here was make directory for both dollar sign LFS sources. Okay. So we're going to put all our sources. And we need to change mod um, A plus WT, which is actually triple sevens dollar sign LFS sources. Okay. Now. <coughs> now. Let me copy over my packages while I'm right here. Copy recursive for both packages all to dollar sign LFS sources. Only take a few seconds. Very critical. Cannot install without any packages. Oh, two people. <laughs> What's wrong with your <laughs> What's wrong with your tutorial guy? <laughs> Not the first time. Okay, that is done. Our packages are over. Um, now we go back to where we belong. Creating the LFS tools directory, that's done. Uh, creating the user, that's done. Um, we did tune. Let's see what we did. Mm -hmm. Change the ownership to LFS of the dollar sign LFS tools directory. And let's change the ownership of our um, sources directory to. Okay, good deal. Back on track. Now let's log in as our temporary user, sulfs. You'll see your PS1 prompt is changed, and we need to set this up here. So let's say cat into uh, bash profile and the file. Execution environment I home is equal to dollar sign home term is equal to dollar sign term PS1 prompt is PS1 prompt is going to equal escape out you stop escape out w escape with dollar sign space pop out again bin bash okie dokie Now let's go ahead and we're going to create our bash or C file. Cat into bash our C file. And we're going to say set plus H U mask 022. Hard code or variable, which is mount. LFS LC underscore all equals POSIX LFS underscore target equals dollar sign encapsulate you name dash M pop out and we're gonna say LFS Linux renew pause for the calls and take a look Our path is going to be tools, bin, stop, bin, stop, user, bin, and export LFS as 
Oops, LC underscore all. LFS underscore target. Space path. Looks good. And the file. Now we need to source our bash profile, so we'll say source bash underscore profile. Uh oh. Can we say cat? What did we screw up? Cat bash profile. Was it bash profile? Cash bash or C file. Yeah, it'd be mash. Okay. So, if we can our bash or C file, everything is alright, but you mash 22. You mask should be. Let's say sad I E. Replace. Um. You mash with you mask. We'll do G in there too. In or. Um. Dot bash or C file. Okay. Now if we cut out our bash or C file, we'll see that it's changed. Alright, yeah. Good to go. <coughs> now let's see if we can source it. Source. Okay, good to go. Good to go. Alright, that's all set up. Um, that's all set up. We are ready to go in section 5.4, Binny Tools Pass 1. I'm going to cut the video and we'll start uh, there when I come back. So have a great day.